Hey everyone, it is me, TNT, and, and I'm back with another video, and this one is interesting. Uh, so we're actually starting a new series on this channel, uh, where basically I make SCPs. If you do not know what SCPs are, uh, basically it stands for Secure, Contain, Protect, and it's basically this fake government foundation uh, with a fake little website that just has a lot of little creepy stories of basically just things that aren't actually real. Don't worry, none of this is real. Um, so yeah, I thought that it would be kind of fun to basically take those and remake it into Minecraft. And I thought that, you know, might as well just put it on YouTube and see what you guys think. Uh, so the SCP that I have here today is actually called SCP-087, um, and it also comes with 087-1, which lives inside SCP-087. If you did not get that, no worries. The point is that this is an SCP, what you're seeing here, um, and it's really cool. Uh, you guys should definitely go read the story that goes along with this. I should leave a link down in the description if you guys do want to go do that. Uh, so basically you're seeing the whole structure right here. You can, guys can see that it's using a lot of command blocks. Uh, but there's no data packs or mods or anything like that going on. Uh, the only thing is I do have a resource pack. And this is just a little custom resource pack that I made. Um, and this just changes a few different sounds. It doesn't change any blocks or anything like that. Now keep in mind that although this SCP is not that scary, um, there, most SCPs are typically scary. This one, there's just one little thing that might catch you by surprise, but I'll give you a heads up before it comes. Uh, so yeah, basically this SCP is an infinite staircase, which means that it goes on absolutely forever. If you come up, then, uh, if you travel down, let's say, 20 stairs, and then come up 20 stairs, you'll still reach the exit. Um, but it goes down for forever. Now, do keep in mind that typically this would all be black concrete, as you guys saw just a minute ago. Uh, but I'm making it iron blocks just because it's kind of hard to see in a YouTube video, especially after YouTube, you know, compresses the video and whatnot. But basically, if we head into SCP-087, I always suggest that people press F1 uh, before doing this. It just makes everything look a little bit cleaner. Uh, you can see that, yeah, we're just basically walking down a staircase forever. Now, if you pay attention, uh, you'll start to hear a little bit of music start to play as you uh, enter the staircase. Um, kind of just a little bit creepy. This comes with the resource pack if you download it. Um, and then also, once in a while, the SCP says that there's a kid uh, crying and pleading. Uh, it sounds like about 50 meters down below you. Uh, there you go, like that. Um, so I just kind of implemented it so that once in a blue moon you'll get a little cry or a scream or something like that. But then also, if you guys did not know, as you continue down the staircase, at some point you will run into SCP-087-1, and here he is right here. Uh, sorry, I'll hopefully have a little warning on screen. Uh, just kind of catches the person off guard. Uh, so this is basically just a floating face, and of course he will be staring at you. Now he will spawn uh, at different levels actually, um, but he won't move. Supposedly this SCP should actually um, all of a sudden lurch towards you really fast, um, but I did not implement that because, well first of all it would have been hard, second of all I feel like it's a jump scare um, that's not really necessary for Minecraft honestly. Minecraft's already scary enough, but yeah there you go, that's SCP-087-1. And after that, you can wander down as much as you'd like. Uh, but once again, it will just go on for forever. And if we start heading up, you'll actually notice that SCP-087-1, uh, aka the face, is actually, he has disappeared. Uh, he is mobile, uh, so I just kind of wanted to show that with, you know, him disappearing. And also, to be completely honest, it's easier just to make him disappear. Uh, but yeah, if you guys really enjoy this, I will be sure to make a tutorial on it. Um, I'd say like 75, 100 likes, I'll make a tutorial on it. The only problem is that it is quite complicated, it uses a ton of command blocks, and not only is that something that's hard to explain to people, but it's also hard for people to get used to it. I know a lot of people have trouble with command blocks, uh, it's just not the easiest thing for them. I will be actually giving you guys a really quick rundown about how the staircase works, uh, but before that, here are a few of my friend's reactions to going down the staircase. <laughs> Just walk down the staircase. Okay. No! Oh wait, wait, I need you to press F1. Press F1. I thought you liked being scared. Press F1, no, go down the staircase. I, I like being scared. Oh my god. Drew, you need to go down the staircase. It's Minecraft, what's the worst that can happen, right? Alright, okay, go what's ahead. Gonna happen? Just keep going down. Don't worry. Am I going down the right way? Did you press F1? 
Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, just keep going down. Oh! Ah! What is that? What is that? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Am I done? No! Back, please? You're not done yet. Just keep walking down. No, I don't want to. No, keep walking What's down. What is it? What is it? What is it? Just keep what going. What is it? I can't even see anymore. I can't even see. It's so dark. <laughs> <laughs> you broke a block! <laughs> Oh, what was that? What was that? What was that, Tien? What was that? Do you want to go back? <laughs> no, I don't want to. Yeah. Go, go back. Go check oh, it out. Oh, I thought you meant like go back. Like, okay. No, go, go check, go check it out. Wait, what? <laughs> go down, go <laughs> down. <laughs> Where is it, dude? Uh, it's right here, huh? Oh, hello. Who is that? What is that? Walk around <gasps> it. Walk around it. Walk around it. Walk around no, it. Keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. Walk around it. It's gonna eat me. It's gonna eat me. Oh, it, oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. You're done? Uh, I'm done. Alright, you can go back up. You just have to cross the face one more time. Go ahead. Wait, where's the face? It's right here. Oh. Ah, where, where'd it go? Oh, oh dear. It's gone. Alright, you can go ahead if you'd like. Press oh, F1. So Press F1. I I did. Tia, I don't like this. Wait, I'm not gonna make I'm not gonna make it scary for you. I'll let you know when the thing's coming. I didn't download the data pack. You have to make it scary. You nah, it's fine. Scary. You're hearing stuff, right? Yeah. Is that Enderman noises? Yep. Oh God, it's getting louder. <laughs> Tia, it would be replaced with babies crying and screaming. So I think this is better. Oh, yeah. Tia, how do you know when it's coming up? Um, I, don't like I have special abilities. I don't I like wanna, this. I just look up. Just look up. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's under control. Tina, I hate this. Tina, I hate this. <laughs> I know. All right, Cam. Tien. Next staircase. Next, this one right here. This one right here. Is it an Enderman? Nope. You just walked right through it. <gasps> <gasps> Whoa, that's sick. And it watches. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I'd like to make Why it clear. Why did you tell him? You shouldn't have told because him. Because I don't want to scare him. Well, you scared me! Exactly, oh you said God. that you like to be scared. Well, wait, what happens if I go back up? He's gone. He doesn't what? always spawn on the same staircase, too. I just set it so that way it goes faster. What? what? Would you like to go back down? Continue downwards. Continue down. No, I'm done. Continue I'm done. down. Nope. Continue down. Oh! <gasps> that scared me. Continue down. <laughs> Tina, hate you. Down. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, can we play Valorant now? Oh my gosh. Just one more time. This is scary. This is so scary. Oh, hi. What's up, man? What's up, man? It's not, it's not even phased anymore, dude. But if you guys just want a really quick rundown, um, obviously the staircase on the outside doesn't look like it goes on forever. What's happening here is I actually did explain it in a previous tutorial. Um, it's basically just a spinoff of the infinite staircase where you end up at the exit every time except on this one what happens is it actually keeps track over on the right side how many staircases you've gone down uh, so you can see TNT and as of right now is at zero but as soon as I come down here so this would be the first fly of stairs nothing changes here except for when I come right here I've gone two flights of stairs technically so half how many flights of stairs you've gone down so here now I've gone down two Technically, I've gone down four, though. From there, it basically just keeps track um, of how many times you've been teleported. So how this works is, once you come down to this area at, uh, over on the staircase, you actually get teleported up. You get teleported up to this side of the staircase. Uh, and this staircase does go on forever. You can see these command blocks. Uh, they basically just keep on teleporting you. So let's say you come up the staircase over here. Once you reach this point, you'll be teleported down over here, and then you can just climb right back up. And that works the other way too, so if you come over here, and then you travel down, you'll be teleported up here, go down here, and it just keeps on going into an infinite loop. The only exception to this is if your score is at zero, um, over on the right side, 
that means that you should be teleported back over here so that you can get to the exit and that's exactly what it does uh, the last thing is that over here these command blocks basically take a random output on which flight of stairs the face should spawn uh, you can see all these different numbers so yeah there's a one in nine chance that it'll be on the fifth fifth flight of stairs or sorry tenth flight of stairs but there's also a one in nine chance that will spawn on the 100th flight of stairs and basically how that works is when it's that your score reaches um, the same score that the face should spawn at. Basically, the face just gets teleported down uh, and you see him, and then once you go back up, it just hides the face again. So the face basically just chills right here until it's ready to be called down, and then basically just gets teleported right there, and hopefully gives you a little jump scare. So that's just a quick, really uh, small rundown of this. Of course, the commands are quite complicated. There's about 40 command blocks-ish. Um, and each, of course, with uh, some have similar code, but each have their own code. Um, so yeah, it's just it would be complicated to do tutorial on it. But once again, if you guys really want it, uh, then I'll be sure to do one. Uh, this is the first out of hopefully many SCPs to come. Um, and once again, I will hopefully be doing tutorials on the new ones if you guys really enjoy them and you guys really want the tutorial. But yeah, I just thought that'd be really really fun to share. If you guys have any ideas on other SCPs that I can make. Uh, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear it. Um, and this one in particular was really, really fun to make. So I'm super excited to see what I can come up with next. Also, um, if this video gets like, I don't know, just a little bit of attention, I'll also be hopefully releasing a world download uh, where you can give it a try yourself. Uh, maybe trick your friends. And yeah, just have fun with it. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Sorry this was a shorter video, but if I did a tutorial, it would be like a solid 40 minutes long. Uh, so yeah. Once again, like for more, subscribe, do whatever you guys want to do, or dislike if you really dislike this video, and I won't make another one. That's fine too, as long as I know what you guys want to watch. But before I go, I do just want to mention uh, Sticky Piston. Go check them out if you haven't already. Uh, but yeah. Sticky Piston is the Minecraft server hosting company that offers amazing and powerful servers for a great price. Sticky Piston also has many different types of servers to choose from, such as vanilla, modded Minecraft, minigame maps, and more. They also have a great and easy way to control your server so you don't have to go through all these different web pages and whatnot. Um, it's also great for be beginners like myself at making your own server. Um, and if you do get confused with anything, uh, their customer support is great and they can help you with almost any problem that you could have. Uh, so there's a link in the description if you want to go check them out. And I highly suggest you should because I'm not, uh, they're not sponsoring me because like, they're like, oh, I want to sponsor you. No, I actually want them to sponsor me because I think, I believe, I really love their product and I think that they're doing a great job with it. Um, so yeah, definitely go check them out. 